Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a video most of us to Leona, yeah, a lady when you're gonna take poison and the husband is mm -hmm. recording them. Uh, so me nika nika juliza inafikanga to which point mm -hmm. that this thing is too toxic mm -hmm. that you choose mm -hmm. to end your life. So hi guys, welcome to Jago TV. This is Open Talk and my name is Jenez the Photographer. And I'm Pastor Kim. And I am Nancy Blessings Ngaroya. And today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, relationships. Mm. Uh, it's a very sad topic if I may say. It uh, crashes me down. Uh, we are going to try to figure out why mm. people choose to stay in toxic relationships uh, or even marriages and when do you know that this relationship is toxic mm. when is the time to walk out yeah so jalen i hand it over to you uh, thank you so so what is toxic to you what do you feel mm. is toxic mm. uh, according now to relationships to me toxic is now the relationship now has insults now has domestic violence now has a lot of yelling a lot of complaining and all that becomes uh, uncomfortable there isn't any the, the 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 environment is not conducive anymore so na pada mtu ana regret unaweza kumeshinda job poor lakini ukimagine unaenda home kitu inaanza yani unaanza tu kusikia vibaya uh, and i remember even unaweza kwa tumetoka tu mali umeshinda na friends vizuri colleagues vizuri but if you are living in a flat keep and these stairs ushaanza kutengeneza sura ya kuingia home because you you already know what you are going to find there mm. na inaanza kwa hivyo wakati inafika mali somebody is not appreciating you at all all your efforts you feel like your partner is not understanding you now there is nothing you can do about it blessings mm. how toxic is toxic well um i i think uh toxic is toxic when you start losing sanity mm. when you feel like i cannot take this anymore and you feel that your partner how was getting discussed kitu mm. why itakuwa ni vita itakuwa ni kutupiana maneno mm. so you choose to stay with that pain in your heart so i believe that is when you know this is toxic pasi umesema story ya yelling ni 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 but pia kuna toxic ya silence mm. is silence at times toxic mm. yes you can say that you know ukiingia kwa hao kama you know we are talking about relationship eh? ukiingia if in a if in a relationship that somebody is not talking to you unaje your silence ha huh? is so painful na kuna watu mazii wako na diploma nayo kula mtu anaweza ku strike nayo bayani bako natamani kuda kulala <laughs> akuongeleshi mkuja tu hapo mnapita na kwa nyumba if you are blessed to have children maybe I don't talk about mnaongea nao but if it isn't we chukua report weka nayo na uje kwa bed ameshapanga mpaka saidi yake eh jailens na mkasubui yani wewe wewe uko tu wewe uko tu it is so toxic let me tell you it's like you are living alone baka yeah, yeah and, and i think you it's more even more hurting than even actually the, living alone uh, for, for even, no even for yelling and all that now mm. put it to me your father into a yell would have gone to whatever is in the heart yeah. because such kind of people still what has run deep mm. still what has run deep yeah mm. um, what do you think about silence treatment as being toxic is it toxic for you ama Okay mimi kwangu mm -hmm. mimi it's not it's not yes. here mtu kwa mazee mimi it's not huwa mm -hmm. ni mazee alafu ni kwa mazee tusonge okay nimesema kwangu before mm -hmm. mimi i think kwa mazee is ni hataki okay eh uh, i like to be kwa mazee tu na tusonge so i would feel the pain But yes to some people mm -hmm. i think it is kuna watu wapenzi kwa mazee wa hata utasikia nakuuliza But you know, 
That whenever you try to raise an issue, yeah, na feel ni kelele, ama don't tell me this, anaza kuleta ni kama sasa ni vita. I feel like that is toxic, you know, because in a relationship, you're supposed to talk. If I feel like my partner is not treating me vile na farm, I talk. But kama ni kirezi yo issue, inaanza kukua amekasirika, don't tell me this, trying to justify kili amefanya, then I feel that is toxic. Okay. Yeah. On that issue, do you think maybe you are toxic on the way you approach it? Uh, mimi. Uh, in, in such a scenario. Mm-hmm. Do you think sometimes mm-hmm. uneza kwa ni wewe kom toxic by oh, how yes. you approach the it? the way you approach the issue. Yes. Yes, it could be. Uh-huh. It could be again because mm-hmm. okay, kama your partner amefanya kitu cha kufurahisha, there's always a better way to talk to him about it. Unaona? Mm-hmm. But saka pia ndio yule wa no, you're the one who is toxic. He's mm. not there. He's the one who is toxic. Yes. So the best way, mm-hmm. you just talk about it in a very calm way, in a friendly way. Yeah. Now, if I bring it in a very friendly way, mm-hmm. and if you are like stuck, mm-hmm. you maybe ume talka and say, oh, you cannot tell me ume talka, you're toxic, and I'm not there. I could have stuck at a school, me minta songa. Pasi, when do you start seeing red flags? When do you start seeing this is toxic? Mm-hmm. Good question. Do you know, even uh, f- first of all, if I, if I may just go back behind Kidogo, when two people come together, the Kunazile fundamentals and Bazo and Agonga Meweka, Kilam Tanakonga expectations Zaka, you as a man, no one expectations Zakona. So, election of any other question, to another person, Siku the near Kama, squeeze him with change, squeeze him with change, squeeze him with change, or to any other legislator or some real campaign, such as in the reality. No. So, ikisha fika hapo, yu kwa campaign, in reality, unapada mtu anasema, oh, by the way, plan is squeeze ya squeeze ya nibani, bandi ya na kidongo. So, unapada kuna ma friends wa metiki of ye. So, kama kuna friends ambao, how I lay, whatever is going on, wengine watakuchocha, na wakikuchocha, uneza talk up, you can walk out, you can start cheating, unapada kuna there are some people you find now accommodating now in your life, while well, like, instead of resolving, and just like blessings have said, Anytime you don't resolve your problems, you ignore them. Zina zanga kupai into something else. They grow into something. Else. The more you ignore, because jana mukuri resolve issue, and then una una na malaski. Maybe someone drinks. So I'm actually pita mali with my friends. I clear up my head. I clear up my head and all that. In, in that process of clearing your up your head, you find yourself doing some things, and one which are not godly, and which are not even helping yourself, either healthy or uh, emotionally and all that and physical. So at the end of the day, you could your home for example when I with a when I with your friends out and you and your lady blessings to go to home you are married when you lose to happy when you come home the first you know you come home and because you are influenced when you say you said let call me in toto unaona so in anti anga pale and then you get a slap you get a slap don't na rudisha una muita kijina kikubwa eh nugui una shika glass then you don't go so no na hasa hata kama utakuja ku settle lakini kuna kitu ambacho msha create kuna kitu ambacho msha create so from there ndio fika ngamali mtu anaweza kusemaje na mimi ngoja mimi mimi naweza kukua Oh, so uda una ignore hiyo inaweza kukua any toxic relationships zinazanga zinazanga tu pale number one people tend to ignore yeah first of all kila mtu ana sawa nafasi yake uh, oh, what does the bible say about marriage and that me i'll talk from, from a pastor's point of view if the foundation if the foundation is not in christ for example labda mlikutana mali out and all that ni vizuri at least kwa watu wengi wakae duweze kuelewa your role as a man your role as a woman so that you can come together the bible says two cannot work together j unless they agree ndio asiye mtu anabongo sabe hata zile makosa zenye anafanya ndio kikuje tu pale ya Kristo mama mtakosa kukoruzana 1 2 3 but in her weaknesses in your weaknesses aweza ku understand so that you can cover because love is about sex actually it is a common Yes, but <coughs> back to you uh, uh, relationship 
think true what I know ladies nyonge from ladies perspective uh, mimi nasemanga if you are dating a man kuna vitu unaweza tell hata before we get to the next level of the relationship for example if a man ever raises a hand on you for kitu tu amefanya hata kama hajakukonga lakini amejaribu that man is toxic unaona so as as early as then as early Go, hey, Kimbia, hey, sis, Kimbia. Ati mono me ame kupata mahali, ako like all over. Ame ino mukono ibi ata kama ame ino kafikisha pa kawacha. That man is toxic. True. So it is a time to kukimbia. So, kwa 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 toxic man, I'd like to ask you something. Toxicity inaanza kwa mkidet ama inaanza ile time kida vile tumeambua campaigns shaisha me settle down. Hapana. Mimi nasema anga mtu mbaya ni mbaya from the word go. Atajaribu kufanya nini? You'll find uh, maybe your boyfriend. Uh, maybe, yes, anas- maybe maybe their boyfriend sis. <laughs> Yes, oh, sorry. <laughs> you'll find that maybe the man in this relationship one hata kangi kuambiwa pengine hata kuchapi but ni ile kumwambia babe why did you do this anaenda ako like ah mimi hizo mambo sitaki anatoka anaenda Then. Yes, the men wako hivyo. Ama mimi nasemanga ni vizuri pia apima mtu. Mm. By the way, wacha kupea date, chalo your date. Uone reaction zake. Chalo na kitu kama one hour. Hata wana mpige mwambie nimeona sita make. Vinya dari yak to that. You you'll be able to tell. If you manume as vizuria leo. How about you picture? You get. Sasa so, tunambia so, so girl child. Yes, nambia girl child to see what. Of course, I una, <laughs> unafanya vizuri sababu. Yes, nambia girl. Uh, eh, unajua u, unasaidia because you know, I like the way you're putting it. Nowadays kuna mtu ana kimbilia relationship for, because ameangalia age yake, hataki kuachwa nyuma and all that. Anataka kuitandishwa na mtu fulani. Ha? Huh? Mwanaona sasa. Asa hiyo, number one you'll be living a lie. And such kind of people they end up regretting. Aki kuna watu wengi sana wana regret even in their marriages. I'm talking also from uh, nikiongea tu from, from from where I'm standing. Ninajua kwamba wale watu ambao nimejaribu kugaide, nimejaribu ku cancel. I am girl. Uh, anasema si niko na discuss ni asubuhi na mambo. Kuna mimi nimeona uh, na hiyo mimi na kaa tu ni funny lakini ni iko iko na some nini in it. Inasema nini? Kujo nipe mimba nifukuzwe kwetu. Unaona so ule mtu ameka hemo jeki cheka. Unaona anaona kama kupewa mimba nikinifan afukuzwe kwao maybe ndio aolewe. Eh aolewe. And you know huh? I, I was thinking to myself na najiuliza mm-hmm. okay there's a video most of us tuliona ya a lady mwenye alikuwa na take poison in the husband mm-hmm. is recording them. Ah mm-hmm. uh, so mimi nika nikajiuliza mm-hmm. inafikanga to which point mm-hmm. that this thing is too toxic mm. that you choose mm. to end your life and kuna one of the reasons could be mm. okay mimi kuna kitu nasemanga believe mm-hmm. you know na uh, najiulizanga hata nikipata okay mimi upiga sherehe mm. juu sherehe nayo iko ipigwe mm. uh, <laughs> it is true and you ina uko mahali and you see an old mzai unaona mm. ako 50 years old ako kwa club sana nane anafanya miondoko you see mm. young as i am mm. siezi fanya miondoko aki mm. nasikenga lakini ya vijana wako 16 18 you know but you find an old mzai 50 years old mm. doing miondoko definitely that man is not there for fun mm. it's because he's running away from something mm. anataka time ifike enda nyumbani saa tisa mm pengine apigue kelele 30 minutes <laughs> walale for five amke aende kazi mm. unaona cuz i do not think there is any man in his right senses would be so comfortable doing miondoko na vijana wa 20 years mm. ha, so mimi nikasema at some point ni vizuri watu wa understand mm. okay no this it a sound so good but ni vizuri watu understand your partner mm. might not be your love of life your husband your wife might not be the love of your life why pengine wewe uliolewa sababu ulipata mimba ulienda tu mchezo mchezo hivi kikaumana ukapata ball and you are there you have to marry me because i'm pregnant for you 
pengine ulioa sababu ulifikisha miaka ya kuoa pale chat kila mtu akakwambia sasa tuletee mtu mm -hmm. so ulienda whatever ulipata nayo kwa barabara ukachukua kaleta kwa nyumba mm -hmm. Mkafika mahali mkaza watoto So you are now French You are now Ni watu tu mulianza kukalishana So wewe Uyu mtu nafikanga mahali Anaza kufeel hana your love kwako So anaza maybe kuwa na utoxic Na wewe utaki kuwacha hii relationship Unaona Utaki because hila nilifanya rusi kwa church Mimi ni kuwa ya mistress Mimi ya gana kuwaka wa CU Nilangu wa CU Mimi ni wa CU CU ni za shule Okay, mimi niwa kitu fulani. Okay, niko na ile role kwa chat. Kuna ile reputation. Mi sometimes, by the way, wacha ata kuchuzi reputation over your life. Over your health. Mental health. Nona, pengine umeka na mtu wapu na msukumilia mpendane, and they are not the love of your life. Sindio? So, ondoka, pengine na ye your love of life wako mali na ye anateswa na bifi yake. It could be my way to check up. Are you really understanding me? Yes, I am. I could be that little woman you are, Juni Lipata Boliaco. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Well, yeah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So, I feel it is very healthy to walk out of a marriage. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Ama a relationship, mm. unasikia haikupei amani. Mm. Jikubali toka, mm. baby utatoka na you get to meet your love of life. Yes, your soulmate. So, mi Kenya tunezi ataka kusema ni, mm. uh, easy believes, mm. wanting to hold so much onto this. Mm. I would rather ukwe a single lady, mm. na ukwe in your right senses. Mm. Unajua? Mm. Mental health, watu wa megonjeka huku waki, mm. I tell you pasi, watu wa megonjeka, unapata na mama kwa soko, hata kumangalia tu hivi, mm. you feel this woman is not okay. Anakatu stressed. Anakatu stressed. Mm. Na kwa nini ushinde hapo wewe ukishungulika? Mm. Just walk out. If it is not working, it is not. Mm. You get. But you know, okay, you feel sometimes, mm. people, people say, because they feel like there's a lot, uh, there's a lot to lose. Mm. You get. Napata mama akona watoto kada, awatoto akatoka, anazo hawa changadua vizuri na namze labda na hai zitoka zuhana capability ya kuwa raise. People actually stay in toxic marriages just because of money. True. True. But then, what is the more benefits? to lose than life? So the question should be. <laughs> When, when, when is it right to just walk out? As early as when you note this is not working for me. Na nilisema, when you ask me what is toxic, nilisema, it's basically when you start losing your sanity. Ukisikia tu, I am not thinking straight. Ukisikia tu, like, mimi nasikia nga ubanangu, nasikia maji kwa tumbo. Ukisikia tu, nanga masai mefika, anaingia, ama your boyfriend, you're like, oh God, it's him again. Walk out. Imagine do yourself a favor and walk out. Yes, watch a stop forcing issues, stop forcing love. I love I feel like love is not worthy force. Yeah, when you not only force you to spend that, you can't spend it. Watch a question to Kenya, be a oh, Mimi, Mimi, Nini, Nili, Fanya, Nini, Mimi, Niba, Baba, Totoako, Mimi, Nini. If I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling you. No, no, yeah, so but I'll figure to a point that you may choose to take away your life. I think there are other options. True. Yes, just walk out. Mm. Mm. A, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. And you know, wakatina fika mahali. And a broken marriage is better mm. than death. Than death. Yes. Philosopher Miss Fatia Yake. Break those marriages, go for those divorces, break those relationships. What does it could do? At your name, Zuri, at the at Kohistoria, Kotombianga, Mimi, and Lukan, like Swahili, too. Then, do you know, okay, bless me. Well, at one being in Lukona and I one hundred and thirty five pasta, but now I found the right person. Yes, for me, so many frogs. Yes, do you know, Ikikuja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samanga, before you meet your prince, yes. Uh, do you know Kiku Jamali? Kama kuna kitu painful ku break akina kwanga ni marriage, let me tell you something. Because number one, before you said I do, marriage is a covenant. 
that is a covenant sasa unaona by the time ifike hapo do due diligence kwanza know this person mm. jua history yake yes. before you engage yourself because let me tell you ku break marriage set ni kitu rahisi test him mweka kwa mavituko umleta utatesti wa siku moja utatesti wa siku moja it's so painful you know uh, mbele ya all those witnesses who came kukuona nuna jua harusi na panga ya madem leme and uh, fortunately or unfortunately yani kila mtu anakujanga ana kuona mimi edi dawedi and i'm talking for my experience hakuna hata mtu anarudis bwana harusi akis kudanga bwana harusi hata wana kitoka home waka kula muhi mimi can tell you the truth mimi mm-hmm. harusi siwezi fanya nayo mm-hmm. ana wewe ni bibi gani bali wacha mimi nika hivi twende tujaribu iki work niko hapo uh, isipo work uh, i am out na iki work mimi i'm not going to commit myself mbele ya mungu na mbele ya watu uh, <laughs> to say yes for better for worse yes. alafu nikifika kwa nyumba napatana na gaidi mm. that is alafu i'm there to to keep this image uh, to keep this hey hapana mimi harusi pa, nayo pasi amesema kitu moja oh. kuna not with this person mm. before, before, before yes. you actually do that mm. I, I, do. I, I, <laughs> I, I know of people when you break marriages mm. just because mm. it was toxic mm. yes and ukisikiza it makes sense lakini sikila reason tena itakufanya break a marriage okay Jalens mm-hmm. let's take a break mm-hmm. tukirudi tujue mm-hmm. mbona mtu anza kuwa mzuri alafu amekuwa toxic all of a sudden ni nini ni huwa inafanya watu wabadilike mm-hmm. after mume settle So guys, welcome back. Ah, uh, Jillings. Nilikuwa nimeuliza swali. Ni nini nafanyanga mtu ana change? Okay, like umempa time, unjue. Ukaona this is the perfect man for me. Ukaingia into marriage. Mkaenda mkafanya church, holy church, holy wedding. <laughs> Then after some time, itaki. <laughs> Hata ni sikia kwa nasikia stack hata si ndanki ya rusi by the way yes si ndanki haya so after some years you know the change this man starts to be toxic this woman cause hapa kuna men wako toxic na kuna ladies wako toxic nini we na lead to these changes personally i feel like a change is something that is inevitable mm-hmm. that is number one. yes so as we grow we we, we are all encountering changes lakini sasa shida ni how will it now take these changes mm-hmm. because utapata kuna kitu linifanyia mm-hmm. ili niuma so nimeshina nimeifungia inanifanya toxic huko ndani mm-hmm. pole pole tu mm-hmm. so ukiendelea kuzipile utaona mimi nimekuwa toxic all of a sudden but it's because of things you've been doing zimekuwa zikipile up zikipile up zikipile up hadi to a point where so i start become to uh, become toxic mm. and it happens my spouse appear i mean naweza kuwa nikikufanyia vitu and then una, una, una zieka tu so me feel like being toxic sometimes ni sisi tunazifanya toxic ni sisi tunafanya each other toxic is you can make sense Uh, uh, yes. Uh, sometimes I feel like nisi tunafanya each other toxic yes, because uh, tuko na tuko na well power one mm-hmm. ya kuongea mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. if you do me wrong today mm-hmm. before ifike kesho mm-hmm. wacha tuketi mm-hmm. nikwambie and babe mimi hapa sikupenda hivi mm-hmm. why did you do this so, to avoid that piling up of the mm-hmm. makasiriko mm-hmm. so the moment you blow up mm-hmm. hey una kaza za mtu mwingine atuelewe unapata relationship imeenda all to drain ama marriage imeenda all to drain just because mtu amekuwa akifungia mm. ameanza kuwa toxic sasa yes. unaona ile makasiriko imeanza kuwa mingi mm. una feel eh, jana mtu alifanya hiki tunikanyamaza mm. leo amefanya tena mm. au kwa like ah, zi this is too much yeah. you feel mm. so kwa kwake nimeanza kuwa toxic mm. because hanijui hivyo na si ati character nilikuwa nayo si kitu ati hajaijua okay 
pia mimi am just finding out there mm-hmm. juu iki tu mimi sana pia mimi nashanga mm-hmm. haina eh mm-hmm. and you see now vile umesema mm-hmm. uh, change ni vizuri pia tunakubali change yes. and wale ya kukubali change pastor siji kama uta agree ni mimi mm-hmm. if you feel kuna hii change na siwezi take it mm-hmm. then be sorry di bad to mm-hmm. eh kubali it's a change mm-hmm. that it is over me mm-hmm. so just walk mm-hmm. walk out mm-hmm kubali yo change uone huyu mwanaume ame change siwezi nikambadilisha but they can you change a man or a woman mm-hmm. pastor can you mm-hmm. you can no um, you cannot uh, it's only god who changes ndoniza swali na jijibu you cannot it's only god who changes but na you won't as part your time ya ku change number one, you know you harvest what you plant so like tunapanda ndio what you give is what you get sometimes na when you talk about patience what wengi wanaanga patience kile swali mimi najiuliza i'm asking myself and it's good that we are, we are here all of us yeah uh, age gani ambaye mtu anaanza ku date and when you start dating what are the expectation maybe of a boy child eh, because when just at some age you unapata any me unaona kama the, the incident that blessing is talking about a dude is recording the daughter of a man a mother of a child you know na sibo any a sister uh, of another brother or something yani kiba ati juwe or something yani and he takes pride in that na huyo mwenye anafanya hivyo basically anafanya hivyo because of what number one maybe the bitterness uh, you have a bitterness uh. let me tell you something there's no woman mm. anakuanga na pride ya kuacha marriage yake mm. to start with mm. there's no woman mm. anaweza ataka kuacha watoto wake sure. i know women who make prayers mm. they say god help me to live long mm. for my kids mm. i want to see them grow mm. i want to see them become true so whenever it reaches to a point mm. that a mother mm. chooses to end the life in front of their kids so sad trust me it is bad huyo mm. mtu hata hayuko na kichwa mzuri mm. to start with mm. You see? Mm. Nando mana nasema mm. for your kids mm. walk out. Jealous mm. amesema that people choose to be in this marriage is toxic. Jo na shindo nitaenda na watoto wangu wapi? What is better? Kwenda na watoto mkae kwa street jealous ama kukaa hapo ujue wakiona. Living them with no mother. Yes. It is better you go suffer with them, struggle with them. I'm telling you this, I don't know because I know there's no woman. Na nyinyi wanaume lucky. Ukisikia eh ukisikia like your wife hautaki tena ama your girlfriend. Kitu zingine aki ni ujinga. Unaona? Man up straight to my face mm-hmm. tell me blessings i do not need in my life again mm-hmm. wacha kunitenda unyama mm-hmm. stop doing things on my face mm-hmm. that are unthinkable unaona if you choose you want another woman mm-hmm. wacha kuniletea kwa macho zangu because i believe hizi ndio vitu zinafanyanga cause ukifuata fata kwa story mm-hmm. utasikia the man had a, a mistress somewhere ameanza sa kumistreat the wife mm-hmm. and all this can you stop doing it on my face mm-hmm. just tell me blessings mahali kumefika mm-hmm. i do not feel like you're the love of my life no. i've found a love no stop doing it on your face stop doing it at, at all. all at all no no tuli sema aje apana you cannot stop doing it at all yes you can <laughs> Yes, it's about choices blessings. Okay, okay, mimi sasa najaribu kuangalia in a way tulisema it could be mm. one huyu mwanamke ni alianza kukua toxic. Mm. Alianza kufanya bwana mambo. Mm. Unaona? Mm. Na ndo nikakwambia mm. you will find a lot of men in club. Mm. Na huyu mwanaume ayuko hapo ati yes, usherati, okay. ayuko hapo hata okay. kukunywa, hata okay. atakana bia mbili. I agree. I agree. Why? I agree. Yes, juu nyumbani mm. ni kelele. Mm. Na inaweza kuwa bado akua huko nje, amefai Mm. mtu ana ana take with all the weaknesses mm. unaona na yeye kikuanga hivyo sasa amepata joto amepata kama mtu mm. sasa naye anaanza kukuletea kwa macho mm. so inakuwa toxic from the both of you so it becomes worse mm. mpaka sasa naweza furahi ukijiua ni cheke mm. at the end of the day i want you gone mm. unaona before i reach to this point mm. can people train themselves to talk mm. unaona mm. mimi nikaanza kuwa toxic niambie by the blessing to ni bambi mm na kuna vile napata love elsewhere mm. you know oh, yeah, yeah. sasa ndo nikwambie no babe mm. instead of that mm. i will change mm. you build your marriage hivyo mm. lakini sasa kama hamuongei eh, you know so, no, no. no 
was just asking, what happened to the fear of the Lord? And Jalen, to tell me. The end states are here. Okay. Because things that are happening, say they are un- 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 think- unthinkable to say yes. to you. It may get to a point where say when you talk about it, try to pull from up and then you will say, "Hi." Yes. Is it really worth it? Yeah. And then to kiss kiss a museum kife. Tunasema. Unaskia bade o msi ana make sense. Because it has gotten to a point where. Saizi, ukijua tukiongelea story za toxic relationships mm. saizi mm. when i get into a relationship mm. i'll be able to see toxicity kutoka pale mm. mbona ju nimekuwa nikiongelelea nimekuwa yes. nikisikia yes. yes. so itanifanya nikuwa na ile uoga ya mm. naionea pale mm. sitaki kwenda so nafanya nini na drop mm. na kaka hivyo nikipata na mse na una toxicity pale na drop mm. So you find inafanya hata sisi mm. when you talk in marriage and stuff mm. tukiziona mapema hivyo mm. tunakuwa tuna drop. Mm. So I think pia tunafa to get from kuna kitu pasi amesema which is very important. Mm. Change. Mm. Cuz pasi amesema one you, you don't fast you don't walk out. You can't just walk out because umeona red flag pale hivyo and how could you a how could you a ati niliona ame ame text you ameitwa babe ah me waki wacha nikakuambia kama niko sure niko mbele but okay mm-hmm. this is this is what i mean there is there is a period pia mtu upate wa kuchange kweli mm. ni kama for example you got an asamaga una kugo mapato wa time ya ku repent okay i will only give you time to change mm-hmm. if to make it to kaongea bas yes. so that is where communication comes in yes mm-hmm. marriage is about communication by the way and uh, but remember mm-hmm. choices blessings has consequences mm-hmm. kabisa unambo unapenda jay lens mchukue lakini jay lens wangana marota usiku alafu yeye unaona guka yake alikuwa na tudim hasa baba yake hata mimi nikiolewa sio mama yake anakuambia hata mimi mimi nilivumbilia tu lakini mimi najua sababu siku hizi anaenda kanisani labda anaweza kuoka hasa wewe na juje anafanya kazi mzuri na kaona kasubaru unapendeo na wezi laraja aki ukijana na kona na roho mzuri so no so hizo ni vitu ambazo ukiangalia unasema hiyo nyingine tutatengene tutatengene za akiwe baby mimi sitaki kuona fanya hivyo swa tulia unaona kwa mfano tu eh hasa mjikutana kwa club kushika kwanza hii pesa ukatengenezwa nyuma definitely no no agal baby na agal toto let me tell you unaona mkikutana kwa club kwa mfano na club ni malipa upa penye watu wengi pia wamekutana siku ile hautakuwa club na mwanza kwa ameenda club na unajua ulimpata mfanya kitu fulani hakuna vile unafaa kujam sana by the way unaona unaona kwa ufai kujam sana sababu leo uko club na ile na ile mabesta wake bado yuko unaona atisa siku hizi unaenda kwa wapi kule ulinipata wapi baby so ulinipata tu huko but you see pastor let me tell you something mm. <coughs> ah sasa mm. mimi sasa heri nipate mtu huko mm. ah, because tena church mm. utapata mtu mm. alafu mkikaka mtu achanuke achanuke <laughs> achanuke ah. kwa marriage ah. <laughs> akichanuka sasa ndo mnaanza kukesi mm. wakati mtoto wenu wako mm. class 8 uh. ndo mnaanza kukesi eti baby why you last night at uh. nilienda party nile nipigwa na bishtangu alikuwa na party hizi ni vitu munge kesi uh. muki date uh. but sasa amechanuka mkuu kwa marriage uh. unaona but now mimi na kuna mahali niliona mimi yake sasa sijui kama ni kuona ama ni mtu aliyeniambia <laughs> si bebobas <laughs> kuna mtu Okay sijui mm-hmm. but you're supposed to make me the woman you want if you truly love me mm-hmm. and i make you mm-hmm. the man i want mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter whether to meet kwa club mm-hmm. ama church mm-hmm. kama tume meet kwa club mm-hmm. we talk mm-hmm. and we are like no blessings are you ready to settle down mm-hmm. that's good now you're yes. getting there are you ready to say goodbye mm-hmm. to this life okay and become a wife mm-hmm. become a woman mm-hmm. no na mm-hmm. and i'll tell you sasa na mimi nikae hapa kwa nini ni jipi me niko ready ama si yuko kama si yuko ni kwambie bye bye mm. uh, kidogo kidogo if i'm ready i'll tell you yes but you 
would also help mm. me of course unaona of course na mimi nikuuliza hivi mm. bi mm. sasa jua unakwanga ni mtu wa sherehe every weekend mm. are you ready kupunguza mm. juu ya familia mm. at least e time unape family mm. yes mm. from there now that mm. is why you give time for the change yes so unapea na time yes. you change yes. you adapt yes. to this new life yes. and then you mm. grow but then mm-hmm hakuna kitu ulisema about wazazi hapo mm. sasa nataka kuongelesha wazazi mm. wazazi hii story nilikuja kukwambia ati nimepigwa makofu na niambiwa ulivumilia hata wewe ndio uko na baba yangu mm. stop telling us that mm. unajua mm. kuna wazazi wanakwanga hivyo mm. like ndoto yako akitoka kwa marriage mm. ati anakwambia oh mimi bwana yangu sikuizi anakujanga usiku ako na nini anakwambia kaireto hizo te hata ni tu amiriria ndo maratu netio ni kuumiriria eh hizo to tikumiriria stop telling us hivyo wewe unataka msichana wako aletwe na nini akuje kuzikwa kwako unaona it better akuje akae hapo na watoto hivyo ni struggle for what mtakula lakini muache kutuambia mlivumilia again to those people who are married mm. can you stop lying to us mm. wacha ni kutudanganya ati ati at marriage is ni sweet tell us the truth tell us the truth tungi kwa tukijuaga is not a bed of roses mm. na tutaka hapo hivi siku moja chini na pasi mm. na jamaa yetu za na jamaa yetu za straight za straight <laughs> We, we need to have a very straight like, a, 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 a conversation Manipoli. stop lying to us making stop making us so. feel mm. like marriage ni sweet no. alafu mimi nikiingia huko kidogo kidogo naanza kukua mentally sick and then uh, and then kutuambia mm. um, mtu ukasirika akikasirika mm. unafaa kufanya hivi mm. acha tujue hizi vitu ziko mm. acha ni kutuonyesha bed of roses so mm. you're holding hands out here no. and it was it akitukiongea na pasi anatuambia me and my wife sasa wewe jozi unaanza kusikia mimi nitaanza kusema hivyo ndio me and my wife unasikia ni pasi mlikuwa mnapiga story imeshika imeshika na kwambia i have to take this it's my wife eh na sasa pengine anaenda na hapo nje anaanza kwambua ulifanyia harusi kwa church so unakaa na mashida zako kwako juu utaki kanisa ionge utaki sisi tuonge sisi tutaongea siku mbili na tunyomaze alafu utakaa hapo ukunywa sumu sahi kila mtu anaongea story hata sisi tuko hapo tunaongea story tuonge for weeks alafu after three weeks sisi hata tutafikiria hao watoto walienda wapi kama take off tulimsahau exactly unaona by the you story so just be sorry choose your peace choose your life over anything else beat marriage beat mm. at how watoto by the way mm. wewe sema wacha nikakufe na watoto wangu kama wewe ni msichana mm. akirudi soko oga rudi kwa soko ukienda bora tu usiende sasa mm. india vitungu mm. ama kanjo ama kanjo mm. unaona wewe piga maji rudi kwa soko mm. tafuta mtu mwingine na nimesema you rather break many relationships mm. until you get the right person mm. Okay. The main point is it's always about uh, like this life is my own. Yes. It's not about anyone else. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Utaongea, utaongea yes, lakini I did what is best for me. Eh, wacha kusema ati blessings wale achana huyo tena. Guy, hapo na mwingine. Jesus, eh nitakuwa na mwingine na mwingine until I get and Mr. Right. The person will give me peace. It's got to replace us and what we are posting you at our status. Do you want to meona wengi already? Sasa, example na huko. Ile sikutamua ni yeye. Tuonyeshe. Eh wapi gatest huku? Pasi kuna nini ya kusema? Kuna kuna kitu ya kusema. Eh mimi nataka kusema hivi. Aki siku ile tu wa watu watakuja kwamba Bible is the manual that umepewa. Yeah. You know, like everything that is done inafanywa ngo outside. Na na watu watangia kusema hata Mungu ana understand. Because as much as tutakuwa tunafuata Bible, ndio tuna argue size. Na na siku mimi jamisha. I go back to the Bible. Na ngale Bible na sema nini about this? Mungu anasema nini about this kind of situation? Jo tujaanza kukosa na leo. Tujaanza kukosa na leo. Tujaanza kupiga hii marriage zanza leo. Marriage ilianza kwa Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Na Mungu aliona it's not suitable for a man to come alone. Eh, hey, na mbona hapo tukapata mashati? Man should love his wife as Christ loves church. church. Yes, love us like Christ. Hey, loves. Ah, nakwambia kupenda gani? Kama tukatai kuolewa. Love. 
Unajua un, un, unajua hata emoji ya love, uh, emoji ya heart. Unaona heart shape shape ya heart ni love. And love is the greatest thing. Na kwa mji unapenda mtu, unapenda Christ wenye alipenda church paka he was ready to die for the church. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Already for kutudi amekusamehe, yani anapenda anaweza fanya anything for the church. Now ladies of Kamboni, what's submit? Mimi nataka kukusomea message. I think nilikuwa nimekusomea tutoa huko. Mm. Uh, someone alisema hello blessings mm. ati nimekuwa kwa relationship mm. I, I hope I like in the meantime pastor alikuwa anasema sababu eh ni alikuwa anasema jo I wish to the chukua bible ilikuwa kama amani ole yeah. whatever we do we do with the reverence of god eh yeah. unaona unaona for, for example kabla uje engage na mtu ndio sababu foundation na bila nyumba ni foundation mm-hmm. what a foundation na kwa christ what a kwenda the fear of the lord because kuna kitu wizi ukienda ku cheat the man shall the fear of the lord definitely ukienda ku hit your wife how can a man ni kwanza huyu mwanaume huyu mwanaume amefanya kitu haki mungu tu amsamehe yani eh, una record mtoto wa mtu akikunywa sumu una record mazimu watoto wako pale tu yani wana feel you know it's so sad mm-hmm. na society wewe as a man you are the priest as a man you are the provider as a man you are the protector that is a man hiyo ni juti ambayo umepatiwa huyo ni parent ambaye alikuwa entrusted unajua ki take pride una take pride in zile vitu ambazo they are not even godly that is demonic hiyo ni kama kutoa mtu kafara mm-hmm. na sababu kuna watu wengine wanasema eh hey, wacha akwende unaona hiyo is your days let me tell you the bible says god hates everyone who is arrogant uh, proverbs 16 verse 5 god hates everyone who is arrogant na yasema he will never let them escape punishment arrogant people acha wataenda mahali because when you are arrogant unaona but hata wale watu wanapenda ku take pride um, in the book of jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 and 24 anasema let not the uh, let not the wise boast of their wisdom let not the the strong boast of their strength anasema let not the rich boast of their riches if anyone wants to boast let him boast of how he knows and yes. understand me. Unaona sasa? Sasa ndio leo wewe unafanya job fulani hata wewe utaniambia nini wewe? Kwa hiyo studio kumbe ngatu unarembe nini wewe? Wewe Paul anauliza in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7. Anasema, what is it? Who made you special than others? Who made you different from others? What is it that you have that you are not given? And if you are given, why are you boasting as though you are not given? Unaona kwa hivyo mtikiangalia blessings hapa, kila kitu akona hapa, amepatiwa na Mungu ile ubaya ile ukibuli utoa pizi macho. Wewe utasambu litoa pizi macho. Ile skin, ile skin ambayo unapigaga status unachachisha ulitoa wapi? Tuambie ulitoa. Unaona? Sasa mimi kiulizo. Nitasema ni mamangu mrembo ni God give you a womb. man. twins. God give you sperm. It's God who gives. God sperm enable and life and all that. So hiyo inakumbika tunakuwa humble. Hadi unakuwa humble before the Lord, unapata Mungu anapata nafasi ya kukuraise because one day Let me tell you Jay Lens. One day every man shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. confess. All of us we shall give an account. Sika bila je anasema confess juni hapo tu anajua. Mpaka na shout confess. May we live according to the reverence of God. Aki may the fear of the Lord be bestowed upon us. So that kabla hujafanya kitu kwa the sanctity. Unajiuliza. Kwanza unajua watu wanasema anga hakuna watu wazuri but it's good to ask yourself what kind of a friend are you? Hey, what kind of a father are you going to amount? Usiokope kwa waje let me tell you. Yeah. Mbavu yako iko mahali. Amen. Hey, ba- ba- Amen. Mbavu yako iko hata hata labda inakuocha pasa hizi. Lakini mbavu mbavu ya jeles. Mbavu. Inamaanisha kwa hapa chini ya investa. Is always good. Kila moja it's not suitable. Yes. Nakwambia kuna ule mtu uh, ambaye Mungu ameweka and that is why wale watu wanakuwa patient by the way mbuchunguza wale watu ulisoma nao because na just wote tumesoma shule wale watu walikuwa vimbele mbele wakiwa shule wako wapi leo hii wale watu walikuwa naka kama mafala ukiwa shule wako wapi raundi eh mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. mungu awakije ati mungu anaenda ngapi god is very patient and that's why the bible says he wants for everyone to turn away at wanasema when the time is right i will make it happen ule mvumilivu tu ndio siku zinaenda watu zinakimbia we had a topic with blessings last uh, some time ago here 
kwa sababu kuna watu wanaolewa sababu ya peer pressure unaulizwa wapi mtu wako hapana patience time discover so many things with time asema hapana unaona kabla ya sema mimi sikimbili asema zuri kimbilia wewe unaangalia tu watu wanakimbia watu leo usipatane na mtu mtu hata 35 si mbaya kuolewa na god's time is always the best time mtoto wa 30 years hata hajatoka mtoto wa 30 years ah ona hata hajatoka sio tulie mbio ni kwenda but me i wish that tunaweza cha ku play chat i wish tunaweza cha ku play society i wish to tunaweza cha kuanza ku yani kuonekana because of people yani wejua kwamba each one of us the bible says each one of us tuko na purpose and as the bible says try to find out what the lord wants you to do hey, what is your purpose j hey, what kind of a father how to do with your youth for long hey, ah, i don't know if i would ah. be right nikisema mm. that uh, our to who who fanya that things are working out mm. because they want to please the church mm. ama the society mm ata ni toxic ah of course we watch and come very toxic there are so many things are happening even in our churches right now no no by the way to talking about church there is a musician who was killed by the husband the nigerian you know about the story wale alikuwa anapiga boy every day mpaka she died she literally died and it was so sad na alikuwa na cover hazi yake to in the name of kuvumilia and all that eh? mm-hmm. so there is not the need of playing number one like i said choices have consequences eh wakati Musa alitambaliza alisema aliwaambia i put before you blessings and curses eh uh, life and death eh akamwambia choose life why so that you and your children may live ukiamua kukana blessing i choose blessing today na the blessing i could choose and i'm just saying utakuwa na what kind of oh uh, utakuwa unasema me i'm ready hapa sala lazima digitalize because of the character of this service mm-hmm. eh anasema huyu ni lazima Hey, exactly. I think uh, what we need to do as a society is so that uh, kila moja wetu akiweza kufikiria if you are a lady unajiuliza what kind of a mother am I amounting to be? If you are a man unajiuliza what kind of a father I am because number one, if God made me a man, one day I'll become a dad. If God made me a, 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 a girl, one day I'm going to become a mother. One way or the other. Unaweza kuwa physical spiritually but what kind of a person are you going to be in the society? Because whatever you are doing, unaona as much to say my life ni yetu lakini joko ma in affect so many people in affect so many people unaona ukifanya kitu mbaya it affect watu ukifanya kitu mzuri it impact watu so be that good man the bible says a good man obtains favor from the lord and let the fear of the lord be bestowed upon us that's all i can say mm-hmm. yes for now okay. so i think closing remarks something to finish up as we finish this show be on my part and I'm just be a good man be a good lady let the fear of the lord be upon you na watch out bible kwa manual na it to guide that's all i can say eh mimi nita close na kusoma message ah someone alini text alini dm akaniambia let me just read the message akaniambia hi siji kama nafaa kusema jina hi blessings akaniambia naitwa vile aliniambia akaniambia ti i'm in a relationship uh, two years three months and my boyfriend anakuanga short term part tukika si tunikikosea ananichapanga vibaya sana but i love this man so much i cannot afford to hurt him what should i do sasa mimi nikamwambia akisijua okay, alichukulia aje mimi nikamwambia kama unampenda sana just stay with him until akuwe tuanze kusema hashtag #justice for you so yes that is what i told her because you know the fact that i love this man i do not want to hurt him yeah yeah and i feel evil and i feel yeah yeah and i feel it is wrong nikikuchapa that i'm hurting you So with that mm. si dikaba ta kusema kitu about that before that mimi mimi nasema yo si love si love go si love anything to say about that mm. I, yes i'd say if she cannot afford to live yes the only thing she has to lose is her life or her sanity or something yes and before she realizes it it will be too late mm. yeah. yeah so my closing remarks are <coughs> sis you too special mm. there is too much mm. awaiting for you mm. whether in a relationship or in a marriage work out ni vizuri hata you go for that divorce kama you're married we need you the society needs you your kids need you you get mm. so ni vizuri uondoke kuliko 
ngoja tutaanza kusema alifanywa 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 if the relationship is not working you cannot force it if your partner has become toxic ondoke run for your life always choose your peace of mind always choose life over anything else mimi ndio acha na story in story tulipatiwa mahali and ilikuwa inaenda hivi so this this man that wanted to get married so anajua asichana wazuri wanakwanga kwa kanisa so yeye motive yake hajana pale kwa kanisa ku ku kukua member ama ku ku worship ameenda pale kutafuta bibi jaja kwa bibi wazuri wako kwa kanisa dem na yeye pia amepiga sherehe amechoka anajua wanaume wazuri wako wapi wako kwa kanisa ameenda kanisa kuelea mtu mzuri wanapatana pale wanaoana one of one of those fine days after me wana honeymoon nini the guy walks in smoking anapata the wife ameka vizuri with a glass of wine wine you get so all these people went in with the wrong motive so who is toxic nitaacha mimi swali hapa nani hapo nani mtoxic what is your motive pia ukiendea utakuwa mtoxic juu motive yako ilikuwa nini Thank you very much very many. Yes, so this is Jahoo TV in case this is your first time to watch this show. Kindly do not forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment for us. Till next time. Bye. Righteousness is power.